This is really the, the tragic part of, of agriculture and the story that's not always told with the story of farm murders in South Africa. The monument is about 10 years, uh, just over 10 years old. We thought it would be a good thing to have this monument here as a memorial to farmers who actually gave their lives, not in defending the country, but in trying to feed it. I've seen cases where people were skinned alive. I've seen people killed by, by forcing them to drink boiling water and stuff like that. It's not, it's not just exclusively farmers or white farmers or whatever. It's farmers of all races who are being killed as well as farm workers. In recent months, uh, there's, there's an increasing demand on, uh, on trauma cancelling from farm workers and rural communities who are so deeply affected by these farm murders. And unfortunately, it was on the decrease, but this year it started increasing again. I think the provinces at the moment that, that suffer the most are the, the Free State, Northwest and Gauteng provinces. Uh, but but it, it varies from year to year. There's 36,000 commercial farmers in South Africa and they produce the majority of the food in South Africa. One can almost say they are responsible for food security. Every farmer is responsible for feeding more than 1,500 people. That's why it's so tragic. It might well eventually if affect not only uh, uh, agriculture as an industry, but it might even eventually uh, have an effect on food security in South Africa if it continue in the current fashion. And, uh, to my mind, more than 90% of, of farm attacks, they, they are not, it's not the people on the farm that's responsible or in any way connected to, to the, the, the criminal act. It's normally people from outside, syndicates and so on, who do that. And it's an, farm attacks is an important way, uh, uh, link in the way that syndicates operate. We have very good cooperation from the police, you know. But, you know, their constraint is also funding. That's the big constraint. It's not as if the police doesn't want to do anything about it. We've got good cooperation. Uh, normally, we can call the police not just on the, you know, on the uh, normal numbers, but we have special numbers that far farmers can call so that they ca can uh, respond immediately. But the size of the farms, uh, you know, and the, the rural area, that is really a problem. In my opinion, the way out of it is employing new technology, you know, so that immediately if you think there's a farm attack, uh, that, that's starting to happen. You can activate the, the rural safety plan, the police, the neighbors, everybody that's involved. And, and that's what we're looking at in agri-security as well, is how can we employ new technology to make farming safer.